So Harvey Pierre is breaking his silence on the allegations and the lawsuits coming his way. And also a lot of PDD's dark past is also being revealed for some of us that may not know. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button guys. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe to the channel. It's just one click. Click the notifications bell, comment down below. And let's get into this and not waste any more time. So Harvey Pierre broke his silence a couple of days ago. Um, TMZ is also reporting it. Diddy's former president of Bad Boys, Harvey Pierre, is slamming the gang R-word lawsuit that named him as a defendant. And he's telling us he won't stand for his name being sullied. In a new statement obtaining by TMZ, Pierce says, this is a tale of fiction. I have never participated in, witnessed, nor heard of anything like this ever. These disgusting allegations are false and a desperate attempt for financial gain. I will vigorously protect my reputation and defend my name. Those who know me recognize that these claims are not true. Pierre stands accused of enticing a Detroit miner back in 2003 into hopping into a private jet to hang with him and Diddy for a New York session, where she claims the men are worded her in the bathroom. The suit also claims Pierre sat back and smoked crack cocaine, Lord, from a Pepsi can, a Pepsi can, as the assault took place. The details alleged by the Jane Doer accuser are heinous and vicious, but Pierre adamantly denies any of it of it being true. Now we know that Diddy has maintained his innocence with his enough is enough post, but Pierre a couple of days ago also spoke out, which I never covered, nor did I know that he spoke out. Pierre gives me the vibe of PDD's lapdog, where he will do whatever PDD says, follows him wherever he goes, listen to whatever he does, is around him, part of the entourage. And when you're part of somebody's entourage, you end up just doing things by default, you know, as a, as a group psychological tactic, you listen to the leader of the group. So when the leader tells you to do stuff, you end up just doing so as well. It isn't, it's not an excuse. The man is still a fool. I think he's guilty personally. This is not, the, this fourth lawsuit isn't the only one. He was also named in a separate lawsuit himself. So he's facing two himself while PDD is facing four to five. So that in itself is interesting. Now, for those of you that don't know, in regards to Kirk Burrow speaking the LA Times article information is resurfacing now this isn't this is this information is not new it came out in um, August I believe last year anyways but Kirk Burroughs did have a conversation with the art of dialogue and also it was mentioned a while ago where you know he was forced to give up his 25% percentage of bad boy records because PDD rocked up to him with baseball bats forcing him to give over a lot of information not only that but um, he also was threatened um, and somebody that works at Interscope because he wanted to be cut out of a, of a video with another artist and he was throwing tables, you know, going absolutely crazy and insane. So the fact, the fact that this man is throwing things at women and glass tables and etc., and R wording and then forcing people to take percentages out of bad boy and, you know, forcing Interscope record people and beating them up and etc. because they're not listening. That is his act. That's how he communicates. If you don't do what I told you to do, I'm going to produce violence onto you as an individual. Pity is a very troubled man. <laughs> like there's so many different allegations coming from so many different ways. And I wanted to put this video into the same thing with Harvey Pierre, because we can do two topics in one, wrap it up in five minutes. You guys know what's going on. Everybody's clued up. I think it's just much more quicker. Um, but I think that it really shows PDD's character and the fact that this is how this man communicates through violence, because he's powerful and therefore violence produces results and that is what he continues to do this man belongs in jail for several heinous allegations i didn't even know that this is what he was into kirk burroughs let alone that but allegations of him beating up an indiscope's um, record person's coming on now as well and so clearly he's been beating up a lot of people throughout his entire time so this brother love stuff pisses me off even more because you've recently come out with this in the past couple of years brother love brother love brother love and it's such a psychological shedding tactic and I just find it to be very interesting because it worked for him because he believed it sometimes you can believe things really much if you believe if you fake them in your mind you can really believe it to overcome the things that you have done that's exactly what it is I know in some of my videos some of you guys say I speak very fast I'm from London when you're from London when you're from New York when you're from a fast-paced city we speak fast we talk fast we walk very fast we get things done fast that's just how we are so yeah, um, there is an option to slow down the video um, in terms of the speed if my voice, you know, does uh, bother you guys in terms of speaking quite fast. But I find it honestly very hard to slow down because it's just not how I am in life. I can't slow down my voice. Like I normally am a very fast paced talker. It is what it is. I remember when I was with my friends in LA and they were just like to me, Murad, why are you walking so fast on the beach? Where are you going? Like, where are you? And I was like, I need to slow my ass down. But it's, I just, that's how I am. I just walk fast everywhere I go. So I talk fast everywhere I go as well. So my apologies for the fast talking. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Another quick PDD nugget video. There you go. You have a little story and you have two topics all under five minutes. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.